Okay, this is Big Baby J with another episode of Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. Now, we're gonna craft a few bombs. Something I rarely use. Uh, I got everything in my inventory uh, that I need already, so uh, I'll explain it to you as I go. Uh, bomb fragments. You can get those from any type of bombs. Uh, they're so, mostly a money graph drop. And type bomb, type mob. So we're gonna sell five of those. Aries gem. We're gonna sell. Well, I got so many of these. It doesn't even matter. Frog oil. We're gonna sell about three of those. And we get devastate incineraries. All right. Before I finish though, because I still need to add some other stuff to it, we're going to add some bum ashes. I'm going to sell about five of those. Uh, Book of Orgain, I'm going to sell three of those. And bombshells, I'm going to sell about. Uh, I'm going to sell 11 of those. And fire crystal, we're going to sell about need about five six seven of those future liquid we're gonna sell about six of those water crystal I need ten of those and we got some more bomb stuff all right we got devastating incineraries that should be Castellanus all right water drop munitions that should be water bombs uh, oil soak incineraries speaks basically speaks for themselves oil bombs and tumulus uh, noisome incineraries we get poison bombs and fulmoral all right that should pretty much cover everything all right so we got quite a few bombs we can actually use that'll be for Bosch all right. Let's equip. There we go. Equip. And uh, tumulus, not a bad bum. It's not too bad. It's like the second strongest, third strongest actually. All right. And you got the Castellino, which is the best. Uh, ammo for the bombs then you got the water bombs then you have the oil bombs and the poison bombs okay all these different ones you can use for the uh full breaker uh by the way they're uh they can be tossed so in other words they can hit flying flying mobs as well okay there's something that you can use as a full breaker that help you hit flying flying mob so they have their uses they're inconsistent as everything else the uh, full breaker has but they should get the job done oh it's making me equip it I was gonna dis I wasn't gonna use it at first but since we got it let's go ahead and put it on there all right let's go ahead and get Larson down And I'm going to basically uh, skip through all this here because now depending on how well you did as far as talking to the elders and stuff, I think the best thing you can get is a uh, recurve crossbow. Yeah, and onion bolts, which I don't need. All right, now it's off to you, village. Uh, you know what? I guess I will meet you guys there. So, yeah. Wait a minute, let me change this gambits. Got lost in here. Uh, let's change that to 80. Let him do most of the healing. Um... Uh, 
Do you have rays? No. Guess you'll be using Phoenix Downs. Now I meet you guys, you village. The Gilmo Jungle. Now here we can uh, get a rare mob to show the spawn here, the Mega Zoom. You might remember him from uh, Final Fantasy VII. It's a rare mob. So let me see if I can get him to spawn before we go to U Village. Okay. So what we're gonna more than likely have to do is he usually spawns out down to there. So we're gonna run here and we're gonna zone a few times. And hopefully we get lucky. I think he has a 10% chance of spawning. So while we zone in and out, let's see if we can get him to spawn. Then we'll make our way to Root Village. All right, let's try it again. See if he gonna show up this time. There he is, right here. Okay. So this must be four corners that he can spawn in. All right, now the trick about him is this. You can actually see his stats. He's level 24, Mega Zero, HP 9,139, weakness, lightning. Okay. It's one of the few mobs that in this game, rare game that you can actually see he uh, also Helvenick has that same setup. You can actually see his stats. Okay, so let's stop. Now he can you can steal a snake skin from him, but I got more than enough, so I'm just gonna steal one time and, and just kill him. All right, and there he goes. All right, off to you village. Which is the next zone over. Wait, what do you mean I can't go in? Oh, you gotta trigger a cutscene first. Okay, well, let's trigger that cutscene. Well, first, let's kill, kill off these nutrients. And here's the cutscene. Uh, we're not gonna watch that. And here we go. In the village ahead, you will find her, Mjern. Bring her to me. She will know why you call her. And we get Moogles. First things first, touch the save crystal. And buy a map. Now 
Now it's time to get one of the best spells in the game. Oh, look at the stuff that you can buy here. You can buy a storm staff. No, I'm not gonna buy it. I actually boost lightning. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get it. No, I'm not gonna equip it. But I will get it. Usually I say don't buy a weapon, but right now I really don't feel like searching for one of those. All right. <clears throat> this, shit, this stuff right here, I get one of these later, so no point in buying that. There's nothing here that I need. Uh, Chronos tier, gold needle, Phoenix down. Yeah, these items I don't need. Now here, I told you one of the best spells in the game in Zuna. This is what I was talking about. You get Thundera and Break. Now, Zona is probably one of the, I say one of the best is because it heals just about every status effect and I need that. Alright, that ends this episode. Next episode we go further into Ute Village. Catch you guys later. Y'all take care.